Live from the Alamo City with Bridget Smith. Featuring Eileen Tevis, Paul Morellis, and Natalie Tejeda. This is Great Day SA, San Antonio's number one lifestyle show. Day to all of you. I know. And happy know. Valentine's Day to you at home. Thank you for joining us yes. on a day filled with love. It's good to be here. It's good to see you. And we're so glad that you tuned in to Great DSA. And we just want to wish you a huge, happy Valentine's Day. Yes, it is. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank you to, love. To, to our, our to Sufis who gave us these yeah. beautiful flowers. We just want to say thank you to mm. them for making the place look festive and feel like love. It looks like we got some candy. Plus, plus somebody, somebody brought us some candy too. That's I don't very know. Nice. A little love Valentine's that. Day yeah. candy. Hey, can we say a special good morning to Morningside Ministries? They've got some wonderful folks who've joined us in the audience today on a day filled with love. And it's spectacular because there is an event coming up uh -huh. here for them. Morningside Ministries presents a Night of Imperial Splendor. It's going to be an Oriental themed event taking place on February the 15th. That's tomorrow from 6.30 to 8 p.m. So we just wanted to say you guys go have a fun time and dance as much as you can and eat as much as you can and it's good to see you guys here. We're so glad that you were here this morning. Okay. So, an interesting thing is happening today. Yes, mm -hmm. if you are in love and you just thought, you know, well, you know what, I want to be married and I just want to do it the right way. You can right. get married all day today down at the courthouse because that's what's been happening since midnight last night. This is kind of an annual tradition in San Antonio where couples go. It's a mass wedding that happens on the steps of the courthouse. They and it is year after yeah. year. Year after year, people come, you, they fall in love. Can, and you can just show up and then somebody's well, usually, gonna get married. Yeah, they're yeah, already in I love so. when they get there. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but here's one thing that's important though. You've got to have your marriage license. Yeah, yeah it'd be a good like idea. 72 if you have, hours in advance. It'd be you good had idea. to have gotten it Monday. Right. If you have your marriage license, so that's gonna be a wonderful thing. So people were doing that all night. And you can do that today. There's going to be four different uh, times that you can go downtown and, and get married. Now, if you'd like to get more information about the wedding to be, your wedding to be, this is kind of a last minute thing for people. 3, 3, 5, 22, 23. Okay, here it is. Here's the time. 10, noon, 2, and four. You can All go right. during your lunch break. Yes. Okay. So something <laughs> you fun. Really can. Can, you <laughs> can you imagine getting married on lunch? Let's do it. Right. You, you, know, know. you don't have the expense. You don't have to worry about the chapel. You don't have to worry about the reception. You can That's just go hit point. like you know Bill Miller's downtown afterwards. You know, yes. get it, bam. <laughs> you, you, you know, you know, pe people say, how, how would you have to get married during lunch? But that actually happened to me. Yeah. You got married on your lunch break, and look at really? you, just wedded bliss every oh, single day. Yeah, we've been together all the time. That's a, little, that's a little something oh. that you don't know. Now we do. It's a little something you didn't know, you know and I thought I'd throw that out. That's uh -huh. funny that you say that, because me, I have Me and a Gina, we had humble, humble, humble beginnings. Oh, that's so cool. And four kids later. And 20-something years later. Yeah, you got Okay, so i got to mention that Marvin Hurst, our morning reporter du jour, had been covering the mass weddings all night because they happened you know they started last night mm -hmm. and so he ended his live shot this morning in the the most hilarious way in the way that only Marvin Hurst can do if you missed <laughs> it yeah watch this I love this by the way Matt and Sarah you know I've been waiting for this moment on live TV to do this and let me see if I can get down on bended knee and ask San Antonio will you be mine reporting live Marvin Hurst Ken's five I would just Marvin for a minute there I thought no 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 Oh, you missed it! Yeah. So he yeah, proposed. So yeah. Sarah, Sarah goes, we're doing this. I'll take Sarah down there, Marvin. You all just go ahead, tie the knot. Well, another 100 What couple. you missed is when he tosses it back to Sarah for Gotti, Sarah says, I thought you were going to propose to me. And so Marvin goes, well, let me just do this oh, thing oh, all over just, again. Hold up, hold up. Right? Oh, wow. Wow. Anyway, uh, that's it's, funny. Good to, it's good to see Marvin out there that's in the cute. studio this morning. Uh, okay. Cute. Marvin is such a romantic kind of guy. I've seen him do some really nice romantic stories. You know, it's like he kind of comes out there and he, I've seen him surprise people with like flowers from their lovers before. He is such a fun, he is spirited good. guy. Oh, he's awesome. He is good. He's out there on the streets. Great job. Yes, streets every morning. Yes, indeed. Out every yes. morning. <laughs> okay, so we want to say good morning to someone who makes our heart full every time we see him. He is here this morning. Our great DSA contributor and comedian Roman Garcia is <laughs> coming out in our cyber cafe with 
Good Check morning. Check out the little uh, tag there you got. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. says, does it stupid, say stupid Cupid? Stupid Cupid. Cupid. <laughs> yes. And the interesting part is, I didn't come up with that name. Oh, well, then you so should be So I'm slightly insulted Roman. starting off <laughs> today. Sorry. So they slightly. said, here, here's your title. A little. So yeah. what's yes. going on, Rowan? Well, guys, I want to uh, offer you the opportunity to play a game with me. If you really? could all please step up. Game. Uh, we are going to play a game called, How Well Do You Know Your Valentine? Whoa. So you can step up to the table. Do we have time for a game? This, this was Do we have time for a game? Or we uh, have plenty of time for a game because it's Valentine's Day. So step on this? up. You'll see that your cards are marked with your names. If you could please come on up. What we're going to do here, guys. This. <laughs> this is we, unexpected, Roman. Yes, it is, Paul. It is unexpected. And in no way was it planned at yesterday's meeting. So, <laughs> well, well, we don't. Uh, what, 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 so what, what, how what we're going to do here is we have contacted your significant others and found out information about them. Oh, so you actually... Yes. Okay. Hold more, on a second. More information than we cared to know, <laughs> but we're going to see how well you know them. And so we've got a few questions we want to ask. Okay. If you get the answer right, you get the bell. All right. If you wow. get the answer wrong... Okay, so we okay, go well, hold the on. Well, what, is, what do we got here? What is this? Uh, now, price. these okay. are, your, are, are the correct answers. Okay. So you, I'm going to ask you the question. Yeah. And you're going to answer, and at the same time, you're going to pick up this card to show the audience, and then we'll see if you're right or wrong. Okay. So I'm going to assume answers. that we can't look at You cannot look at those okay. cards, no, Paul Morales, as, okay. as much as you want to. Okay. Okay. As much as you would like to, Paul Morales, please quick. do not yes. cheat. I'm going to move this. Yes. Please remove that horrible, ugly cup. Thank you. Sorry. I'm getting very nervous. I know. Me too. Okay. So here's the first question, and I will go down the row here okay. uh, oh, individually. Okay, at the same yes. Time? It's got oh. no, it's gonna oh. be one at a time. Okay. okay. I'll start with you, Bridget, since okay. you are close closest sure. to me. Okay. So okay. What is your boyfriend's favorite band or artist? What? <laughs> uh, favorite band or artist uh, uh, Coldplay? Wow! Is it? Oh. Oh. Very good. Wow! Okay. Moving on, Paul Morales. That's awesome. Yes. Who is your wife's favorite band? Or this is very easy. I don't even have to hesitate. Maroon Five. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my right. gosh. I, I see some strong <laughs> relationships here. I'm getting here. nervous here. Okay, Eileen. Yes. What is your boyfriend Ski's favorite band or artist? Well, I'm gonna have to say Elvis Presley. You gotta show it, Eileen. Whoa! Whoa. Yes! Yes! Is it really? Wow. And the one who is most in love, and I'm sure will nail this, and not in any way get it incorrect. Natalie, your boyfriend's favorite band or artist? I'm going to say Skillet. What? Now it's embarrassing if you get something wrong. Now I see some people going to the courthouse. Question number two. Bridget. Oh, gosh. What was his first? Who's who's? Your your boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> name it, name it is. We're still talking. Alex. 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 Um. Uh, Alex. I'm sorry. Yes, Alex. Yes. Um, I, no, that was one of the questions. What's your boyfriend's name? Okay. Um, <laughs> Here we go. What is Alex's? Who, what was Alex's first car? His first car. Um, he got it just last uh, week. I'm gonna no, say <laughs> a Honda. No. Oh, that's, that's bad. Okay. I don't know. It's okay. It may st it may still work out for you guys. I remember. Okay, Paul. What is Gina's? What was Gina's first car? Wow, it was a little car. It was made by Ford, I think, was, or Mercury. <laughs> just Hold on. The it, it was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, <laughs> Come on, just no, tell them uh, a magic story. Ford, Ford Focus, but they didn't have no, Focus no. back yeah, well, then. Close. It was a Ford. Let's give it to them. We can't it. Ford. It was oh Ford. Oh, my gosh. Let's get a Ford. Me. It was a Ford. It's I get a Ford. Yes. You got it. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Eileen. Yes. Ski's first car. It was a big old boat. <laughs> That's what I remember. And I think it was a Chevy. Close enough. Chevy, yes. Yeah, Chevy. Oh, yes. All right. Oh. Natalie, <laughs> Sam's first car was? A Chevy Gotta show it when you say truck. It. it was a Chevy. Let's just oh, that's good. Oh. That's good. Okay, you guys that's are, that's are doing pretty well. We're doing well. Okay. We gotta go fast. All right, really. Uh, okay. Brill it. Brill it. Brill, Brill it. it. Brill it. Brill Brill it. it. Alex. Okay. okay. All right. So Brill Brill what Alex's favorite restaurant? His favorite restaurant? Or favorite food? What? Favorite restaurant? I don't know. Sushi? No. In it. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, it's in and out. Oh, now you can't change it now. You can't change it now. Don't go back. Can't Forget it. I, I, I see a rift thing. in the relationship. Oh, God. Okay, Paul. Favorite Gina's favorite restaurant? restaurant? Let's go. Let's uh, say uh, favorite uh, restaurant. Okay. Uh, Italian, we'll say Adino's. Yes. 
Woo! This is pretty good. Okay. I think 20 years of marriage will do yeah, Right, you. exactly. Eileen, right, he's been oh, with yeah, yeah. Ski's favorite years. restaurant. <laughs> he's been with it for 20 years. He ought to know. All right, we understand, Eileen. Okay. What is Ski's favorite restaurant? Uh, P.F. Chang's. You are wrong. Oh, oh. It's a Chicago pizza joint. <laughs> okay. That's All right. true. Okay. And Natalie. <laughs> Sam's favorite restaurant. No, we don't eat out a whole lot. Come don't on, Natalie. Explain, don't just answer the question, woman. Yes. I'm going to say Logan's. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow. wow. How long have okay. you been going out? All right, Bridget. Moving along. That's awesome. Alex's That's awesome. favorite movie. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, with Tom Cruise, is it The Last Samurai? Wow! Oh, yes. man. You know I am just, I'm impressed. Yes. I have to say I'm impressed. Okay, Why Paul. Are you impressed, woman? I, I'm, I'm, you know what? I expected okay. it, Bridget. Okay. If Favorite she had movie. some other ones, one of them would say Hunger Games. No. Blah, blah. That, I was going to go twice. Isn't that basically the same yeah, movie? I was going to go. Dang. No? Okay. All right. Dang. Okay. Eileen, oh, Ski's gosh. favorite movie. I'm going to say any Western or um, John Wayne movie. You're incredibly, incredibly wrong. Oh, gosh, incredibly, really? Incredibly wrong. That Ski's favorite movie is Romancing the Stone? It's embarrassing. All right. Wow. That, he's Natalie, <laughs> favorite movie. X Men? Ooh. No. Oh, equilibrium. That could no. be X Men. No. 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 I, 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 okay. I think the okay. wedding is off. I think the wedding is off. Okay. And then oh, we're down to our goodness. last question. Okay. Bridget. Yes. What is the pet name that you use for Alex? Oh, God. The pet name? A pet like name. a pet name? Like like a cutesy pet name you call him. Baby? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's cute. All is right. That a pet name, though? Uh, Paul. Uh, and it has to be clean. Go right ahead. <laughs> well, there's many. Many. <laughs> many, many, many. I'm sure there is. But we'll go with it. We'll say hun. What? <laughs> you guys are so good. You're making me feel bad. <laughs> um, okay. Is it and, my turn? And Ski's little pet name? Buttercup. Buttercup. Oh, wow. Hey, can I, the next time I see Ski, I'm going to no. cut that. Buttercup. Okay. Buttercup. Okay. And last question. Natalie. Uh, Sam's pet name. I would say baby. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, I have to oh. say, you guys all did great. Where's our scorekeeper? It's a tie. It's a tie. Wow. Between who? Tiebreaker question. Tie Paul, Paul and Natalie. Tiebreaker question. Here we go. Tiebreaker question. Whoever gets closest it's it's all is the winner. I right. actually have a tiebreaker. Okay. King Henry VIII declared Valentine's Day a holiday in which year? Oh, jeez. Well, what are we going to say it out loud? Yes. yes. 1639. 1638. <laughs> wow! Our winner is Natalie. Yeah! What was the year? Yeah! No, you're not right. What was the you're year? You're not right. What was There's the just year? levels of wrong. <laughs> what was the, what was you the were year? less wrong than Paul. <laughs> what, was, what was the year? 1537. <laughs> <laughs> she pulled the price is right. <laughs> and she went one dollar. Oh, 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 so. She wins the okay, well, that was a yeah. fun game, everybody. Else. Oh, everybody. Oh, we got a fun show coming up. We're going to cook it up with Zoka there in the kitchen with a fantastic meal idea for tonight. Wonderful. And Eileen is going to gonna spice it up Vegas uh, style yes, with I'm what? Drop on some stilettos and show you an a awesome workout. workout. And hey, call us if you have a question about love, if you're in a relationship or you want to stay in the one you're in. We've got our <laughs> marriage expert here to answer oh all your gosh. questions. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. You're all right. Love is in the end.